Guys, guess what? The worst possible thing just happened to me. I, uh, I dropped my bike in a corner, doing about 30 k's an hour. Had the bike leaned over quite a bit. Nice tight hairpin. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I bend it. Now obviously you guys all know that I am the world's worst YouTuber. So unfortunately, I didn't even have the cameras rolling. However, I do have some in-helmet audio that was recording. So I'm gonna play that little snippet for you now. This right here is the stretch of road where it all went down. You can see there's a big patch of shade on the right here. On a cold winter's day with an ice wind that was blowing, transitioning from a sunny stretch of road like this to a shaded cold piece of road is already a massive risk. Take that into account with the fact that there is this lovely oil slick running across the road, which I reckon is the place where my back tire was sitting when I lost traction. I was riding at a slow pace before entering the stretch of road, so my tires were not warm or super grippy. Now guys, I really want to take this opportunity in this video to share why wearing all of the gear all of the time is absolutely a non-negotiable for bikers out there. All right, I did mention this in my previous video that I'm an ATGAT preacher, and this is exactly why, because mistakes happen. And in order to not have any repercussions or serious injuries as a result, we need to protect ourselves as riders. So when I dismounted off the bike, the first part of me that hit the ground was my boot. Now my boots have got toe clips, so there was absolutely no damage, so I'm not gonna show you a photo of that, whatever. The next part of me that hit the ground was my knee, and this was pretty much like not moving forward at all. I had very little forward momentum, so it was pretty much a hit and stop kind of impact. And you can see that all the layers on my gear have actually been ripped off by the asphalt until the knee protector, which stopped any bruising from happening to my knee. I'm not quite sure what happened with my upper body though, because as I fell off the bike or as I dismounted, I'd seen a can of energy drink that was in the side of my backpack just fly out into my peripheral vision. So I wasn't really paying much attention to what happened during the fall because my focus shifted. Um, but pretty much what I think happened is my hand hit the ground with my forearm and my shoulder pretty much simultaneously. And you can see that from my gloves, you can actually see that the protective areas on the knuckles, the pinky finger uh, were, were damaged and a little bit of the strapping, which is okay. I wish there was protection there so it wouldn't have damaged the material, but at least the gloves are still good. Um, on my jacket, you can see my forearm that's just scuffed up the leather a little bit. But the big thing is that the shoulder protection, you can see took a little bit of a slide, but I felt absolutely nothing. Like my body never experienced any hard impact. It was soft, I got up, I didn't even feel pain. I literally just walked over to the bike, switched it off and swore because I just dropped my bike. This is absolutely one of the reasons why I preach that all riders should be wearing as much gear as possible whenever they ride. Uh, because, you know, something small, you may be riding around in a parking lot and if you drop your bike, if you fall on your knee or on your shoulder or your elbow, it is painful. It may not be broken, but just because the bones aren't broken doesn't mean that there won't be consequences of that injury much later on in your life. And by having things like this gear, it gives you some form of mitigation for the risk. And so, yeah, guys, please wear all of the gear all of the time. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate your guys' support. If you've learned anything today or if you 
absolutely agree that gear is a non-negotiable for a rider, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? If you want to catch more tips or lessons out of my biking experience, why don't you subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell? And if you enjoyed the music that's been given graciously to this channel by my man Excrogitate, you can check out his channel somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know. It's one of the sites. There. There. Yeah. You guys can check out his channel. He's giving us music for the channel to use. So if you like the music, go check out his channels. Support him. Give his songs a thumbs up. Subscribe to his channel too. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. If you want to help me repair my bike, you can check out my Patreon and Buy Me Coffee links in the description. I'd really appreciate the support there. And yeah, until next time, ride safe.